Hyperscape coming back? Holy fuck, that's some... The depths of copium. Alright, I'm loading it up, I'm loading it up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Surely it won't crash the computer. Right. Build version live day 29. The work in progress. Roger that. Some maps and features nearly complete. Some content available now will be progression locked at launch. Oh no! Words I don't want to see. There it is, the XD. First thing we do in any game we load into, chat, we go to the options. I've already kind of been here. As FOV, which I actually don't know how they measure this because I think in Rainbow Six Siege, another Ubisoft game, they measure it vertically. So we'll just go in game and see what happens. Crouch behavior toggle or hold was changed that to hold real quick. They have a lot of options here. I'm actually kind of surprised. Auto reload, auto swap, sprint interrupts, this and that. All right, mouse settings, 30 mouse sensitivity default. It's going to preemptively set that to five and it'll probably still be too high. Crouch slide already bound to C. Oh my God. Wow. The game knows. They have my key binds. They also have controller layout that I don't care about. Um... Let's see here. Voice chat output. We'll put that the system. Not worry about it. Voice chat input is fine. Input threshold. They defaulted to push to talk, so that's a good sign. What's the push talk key bind? K. Put that to tilde right now, just to make a match Overwatch. Crossplay, yes or no. I put mine, so now we get to graphics. So we're at 360 hertz, 1440p, like the classic stuff. I have DirectX 12 on because I need to disable HDR. Uh, and having that on is the only way. V-Sync on or off doesn't matter because I have G-Sync on in my case. Um, what else? Is there anything here we want to disable just immediately? Usually, volumetric fog looks like it's already an ultra. It looks like I just preemptively put that to medium. High resolution lens flares. <laughs> oh god, maybe I just leave it and see how it runs. And I, the only one I reduced was volumetric fog. Ambient occlusion is an FPS killer. Usually is. Let's see what it looks like. We'll see how it runs. Are we just going to ignore push to talk being on K by default? I guess. Aluminium, I do it backwards, it doesn't matter. Uh, turn off chromatic aberration. What, you guys don't like seeing chromatic shifts on the UI? Reward track? Oh, nice. Love me a beta battle pass. Battle pass ends in eight days. They already have the very flashy skins, so you know which direction this game's going. Factions, the cleaners. Oh my God, the division cleaners. <laughs> oh God. View the faction's abilities. The purifier, a flamethrower ensures enemies are thoroughly sterilized. Incinerator drone, burns everything in its flight path. Detonate a cocktail, causing AOE damage igniting an area. Passive trait, incendiary ammo inflicts extra burn, but decreases your range. Wait, so they have different factions with different passives and abilities? So the phantoms are from Ghost Recon, so it has Aegis, which is sphere Spherical Shield. Wait, it's a, it's a Winston bubble. Combined with a Scattergun for close quarters combat. A barrier. So wait, you have a Winston Shield 
and a barrier? Okay, this is the ultimate ability, ability, passive. So you have two abilities, one ult, and one passive. So your normal ability is, looks like a Rhine shield or just a normal shield. But then you have a tactical shield. Wait, why do I have three shields? Why do I have triple shield? I have Rhine shield, tactical shield, and a Winston shield. Wait, holy fuck. Okay, let's keep going. Far Cry 6, Libertad for the Freedom Fighters. What are yours? Your ult, medic backpack, large healing and healing boost for a limited time. Oh, so you're the healers. Unavailable passive. Fortifying wave boosts health and regen for you and nearby allies. Throw a revitalizing gas canister that heals. Oh, so it's a, it's like an AOE grenade that you throw that heals people. Okay, so we have, just to recap this, we have tanks, aka phantoms, Look at the size with of that three thing. shields. You choose between one of the two activated ability. Oh, really? You only have one active ability? You choose one of them? Either way, you have a tank archetype, you have a healer archetype, you have a damage archetype, which are these that just, I guess, just fire. And then you have Echelon, Splinter Cell. God, I can't believe we have new Splinter Cell content, finally. Um, sonar goggles, reveal enemies and hunt them down with Sam Fisher's pistol. Whoa, Sam Fisher, bugger. <laughs> Digital ghillie suit renders the agent nearly <laughs> invisible. Movement naming reduce the effects. Intel suit, periodic sonar wave, share position. Okay, so you have the wall hack character. Your character does not appear on the enemy minimap. Wait, isn't that the most broken passive of all time? So you're just invisible on the minimap and you naturally see enemies around you on your minimap and you and you and you can go invis. And then if you pop your ult, you have Sam Fisher's pistol. Okay, that's that's cool. Okay, well, let me all tap and see where flats is at real quick. I'm actually going to preemptively join his Discord. And he can just connect up whenever he wants. Okay. Let's go see what these classes are like. Custom loadouts. We have loadouts. We have guns. We have many attachments. Chad, isn't this just the Call of Duty system with tons of attachments that you just plug in? Pretty much the same style, right? Just like a billion attachments. And then you, so you have classes and you have just Call of Duty guns. Change it a bit. We don't care about the specifics here. It's the idea, right? I'm not going to sit there and be like, well, but the Call of Duty one is, you know, this, that. It's like, nah, nah, dude. You have like 20 attachments. You plug them. It reminds me of COD. What is maintenance? We have patched the game to help with connection issues. Okay, good, good. View challenges. Wait, are these are like dailies? Or achievements? There's a lot of former COD devs on this game. The COD actually changed it recently? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. I haven't played COD recently, I guess. Also, Lord Bots all I think for 300 bits earlier. I'm clicking play. Individual mode and playlist. Ranked is disabled. Escort, zone control, domination, or occupy. Occupy is a single creature capture that changes location. Domination, get three. Zone control, attack, defend, or escort. You know what? We're an Overwatch player. Why not? I'll try escort. So you didn't check all the characters? Well, wait, wait, wait. I thought everyone in the faction... I checked all the factions. Everyone in a faction, I think, uh, shares abilities, I think. Oh, yeah, the other interesting thing, chat. Apparently, they have no uh, skill-based matchmaking in this game, so it's weird. Very unique. I, don't, I can't, I, just, I can only use this one gun for now. Reddit will be pleased. Yeah, so they've disabled and turned off skill-based matchmaking. Um, and on top of that, there are already threads on Reddit saying aim assist is not powerful enough. 
because apparently aim assist can break when people like move and stuff a little too fast. So this is this is definitely a spicy game right now. No, like apparently complainers online saying, you know, it's it's lower levels of aim assist combined with no skill based matchmaking could be uh, could be interesting. I can actually change to a bunch of different weapons, but I think we're just keeping just the basic one on for now. All around her, or I keep an SMG on a run around. Bro, what is what is in this lobby right now? Oh, voting? Oh, we're voting for maps. Oh, I actually really like that a lot. I am a big fan of voting for maps. Putting it in the player's hands, I'm a big fan. All right, it's me versus Uwu Gamer 69. So I'm about to get fucked. That's tough. Everyone knows the person named Uwu Gamer 69 is the god gamer in the lobby. It's either them or Psych Ward Gaming. Okay, it's showing me the map. Waiting for other players. Played a bunch of got mad COD 4 slash battalion vibes. Enjoyed it. Elsa That is some old school. Was that a gator with a hab, by the way? Oh, so now I get to pick which one I want. Uh, 20 seconds to pick your class. So you can only pick one ability. So I can't play triple shield, chat. I can only play two. Hey, chat, which one do you want me to see? You got 10 seconds, vote now. Otherwise, I'm gonna click incinerator. Wait. Escort. You know, I already clicked incinerator. It's tough. Alright, it my mouse sensitivity is actually too slow and I can't move my mouse. But it's like 15. 15? 15? Oh god, now it's too high. This is a classic. Movement is pretty tight. Decent acceleration. My feet are freaking out though. Stop the enemy crew from moving the package to the delivery zone. All right, ten feels okay. I oh, I did want to change one thing though. So wait, E is my drone, G is for grenade. What's my FPS at? Let's pull up the let's pull up the, the thingy here. Does the performance overlay work in this game chat? You guys can't even see it. It's tough. It looks like you can't see it, unfortunately. Okay. Let me turn it off. And then we'll change a few more settings. You're coming up on the checkpoint. Um, and then how do I unbind a key? Escape doesn't work. It's tough. There's in-game performance stats. Oh, really? Where do we put it? It looks like it has. When I was trying to jump right there, it has uh jump fatigue. Right, so if you spam jump, you can't jump that high. Then if you wait a minute and then you jump, maybe you can go higher. Yeah. So it does have jump fatigue. Oh, this is this is giving me old school shooter vibes big time. This is, this is like insanely old school shooter vibes. It's in video settings, streamer. Go stand in the way of the bad guys. Oh, you guys want to see my performance? Video settings. Let's see. Graphics. Metric fog. I don't see it. Do you guys see it? A way for you guys to see my FPS. Maybe it's under UI. Display FPS. There you go. I just can see it in top left. And I'll do my ping too. What the hell's the diagnostic overlay? Holy shit, it's giving me a lot of stats on the right side. Look at look about the he was giving me like GPU and everything. They made a checkpoint. It's kind of sick. Em. All right, well, now you guys see the general ones. 
Hey, it looks like you actually want a low sensitivity in this game because people don't move. It reminds me of very old school games. The time to kill seems extremely fast. When you respawn, your FPS goes to like 80. Also, I don't know if they have like sliding or anything. So what is this bloom effect as you go inside? All right, let's see what this thing does. <laughs> that looks hilarious. Oh, dude, there's got four peaks. The time to kill is fast? That's actually slow. Wait, what do you mean? You guys, you kill people in like three bullets. It's slower than... Oh, yeah, you guys are the Call of Duty Zoomers in here. Okay, okay. This is slow for Todd oh, yeah. these days. All right. Okay, that makes sense. It's call you guys are comparing it to Call of Duty. A channel play Call of Duty. That heals OP, okay. holy shit. Is that a is that a biotic field? You also have flame rounds, so you do more damage. I noticed that. It gave you over health. I wonder how much uh, damage... I wonder how much damage changes on per headshot. So it looks like they're trying to aim for, like, the... The middle ground between, like, Call of Duty. It's just, like... Very, it's like one bullet or two bullets less than uh, Call of Duty, huh? It's like a first person rogue company. Also, I still need to change my, uh, also, why do I not have a name? <laughs> it's kind of cool. I need to find the, uh, my settings. I want to see if I can, I think the game might be capping me at 240, but I'm not sure. Let me try some stuff. Matchmaking will begin automatically in 10 seconds. Oh shit. Your V-Sync is on streamer. It is. I'm just going to disable it. It just because I don't know if I'm in technically in full screen or not. Cause the game, I don't know the game. Um, this isn't V-Sync by the way. This is G-Sync chat. We're just turning this off. So it looks like FPS does cap to 325 in the menu, though. If I uncap, where's it go? A 330? So it actually, yeah, I do have G-Sync on because it looks like Reflex was capping it. If I turn this back on, if it caps to 325 in the menu, that means that Reflex is on. Yeah, so th this is G-Sync, not V-Sync in the menu because it's capping 325. To turn off reduced latency, doesn't matter. It reflex. I assume this is reduced buffering, so reflex will take it over. Um, I did notice, though, my FPS is actually pretty low, so I'm actually going to use their preset just for funsies. And we're going to set it to off of ultra into high. And then we're going to turn off volumetric fog down to medium because that usually tanks. We put a bunch of random stuff on medium that usually destroys FPS. And we'll click apply. Usually the difference between ultra settings and high settings in games like this chatter is not very meaningful. Like you're not going to notice anything, but it's just worse FPS by a lot. You got to restart. Wait, do I have to restart? What's the plan of the game, dude? Look at the size of that thing. A guy walks into a bar and sees three pieces of meat hanging from the ceiling. The guy asks, what's this about? Oh, the no. bartender replies, if you can jump up and slap the meat, you get free drinks for the rest Stop. of the night. If you miss, you pay for everyone's drinks for the next hour. You want to do it? The guy replies, nah, the stakes are too high. 
Come on, man. I have to keep this off for now. We'll see how it goes. Beans, thank you for 300 bits. Pixel Dreams, thank you for the Prime. So far, by the way, my main complaint about this game, I've only played this game for 10 minutes. Why does it take three minutes in between games? I am immediately in a queue, and then it like takes a minute on this screen. It's gonna take another minute on this screen. Why? I'm coming from Overwatch where everything's a little too fast though. So it's like, I got that whiplash, Look at the right? Size of that they go thing. from 10 seconds. When are we sending beans to the penitentiary? <laughs> Thank you, crazy cat dad. Why did Ubisoft make Call of Duty? Um, it kind of feels like they want to make Call of Duty, actually, because they want to have, I mean, let's try this. Let's try this character chat. So at the assault gun seemed OK. SMGs are probably for nonstop pushing away. You have a flashbang. I want to try flashbanging my teammates. It sucks. Okay, cool. Let's find it. That's cute. Chat, you got to keep in mind, though, that like Ubisoft has tried making crazy games for a while now that are actually very, very unique and crazy. And then they all flop. Stuff like Hyperscape. So then they said, all right, well, why don't we just make Call of Duty, but our own little twist on it? The same way that, you know, Riot walked in and they made their own twist on Counter-Strike. Ubisoft walked in, they go, why is no one making their own version of, of Call of Duty? That's like maybe a little bit different. It seems like that's a genre they're trying to get to. How do I melee? Fuck, I didn't know my melee button. He killed me with a grenade. Oh, it's V, it's V. Did people try that 10 years ago with making your own COD? Yeah, but how many shooters have come out in the actual... Like, just think about it. How many shooters have actually come out in the last, like... Okay, half my shots are stripped. Didn't register on that guy. In the last four years or so, outside of tactical shooters, how many shooters have actually come out that is not an established franchise? Seriously, like how many? You had Battle Royales come out, right? And then what happened after Battle Royales? Like, pe did people... Uh oh, resupply ammo. Extraction shooters. You guys are talking about a lot of different things, but a normal, a normal shooter chat. Not a... A PvE type of shooter where you're like loot based, like an extraction shooter, not a battle royale. What FPS has come out in the last like five years that has been really successful? That is not a battle royale or an extraction shooter. Nothing. I don't know of anything, dude. Valorant. Yeah, like, sorry, we talked about that earlier. It's a twist on ex. If you weren't here for that conversation 30 seconds ago, we're talking about like everything these days is a twist on modern genres. You know what I mean? So, what is unique and interesting has come out in the last five years that is not a Battle Royale extraction. It's literally just like, there's extraction shooters kind of came out, but I wouldn't say they're super, like, hardcore competitive or anything. I wouldn't say there's not much. Splitgate, Splitgate's dead. SMGs have insane damage fall off. Okay, SMGs are not good. Jintasu, they for three months. Change back to the assault rifle, I'm going to shoot that range. Splatoon. Yeah, it's like Splatoon. Yeah, yeah, I guess Splatoon is it, huh? Halo? Halo's dead. That's why when people talk about these genres and they, and they ask, why is Ubisoft making a game like kind of Call of Duty? -ish? I'm gonna die of the dot. Wow, dude, Incendiary Rounds is strong. Wait, I have a, I have a button, don't I? What's my button do? I forgot. Oh, that's OP. Wait, give me 120 HP? That's busted. Is that like, wait, wait. It's just straight up an overheal? How much does it heal? Is it over? Okay, I've got to test this. Oh, 
Oh, he... So wait a minute. Is hip firing good? Because I tried to ADS at that range and he killed me instantly. The enemy is creeping up on the checkpoint. It looks like at point blank it is. If you're like at this range and you just start shooting as you're ADSing, that's the play. What is that spread? Yeah, it's only point blank. I think I remember you. It's not like you need many hits to kill somebody. Like that, right? Because it like, it's got that like Call of Duty style time to kill. We just kill people instantly. Although to, to actual Call of Duty players, apparently it got even faster over the years. So the last time I played Call of Duty regularly might have been like COD 4. So I'm like, oh yeah, this is Call of Duty. And then the people who actually play Call of Duty are like, what do you mean? It's not Call of Duty. It's not. It's totally different streamer. <laughs> Man, I don't have any ammo. Where'd I get ammo? What's this guy? Can I one shot body shot people with this gun? That'd be OP, right? Wait, is there a breath mechanic? Is that what my shift just did? Oh shit, there is a breath mechanic. Oh god, dude, this really is just... Old school. Alright, come on, little guy. We got places to be. Ew, you, you move so slowly. Bro, he's just AFK. It's technology, dude. That dot. <laughs> oh, no. I died to the dot again. It's because you're defending. Oh, wait. I thought I was on like a payload push map. So it also full healed and then overhealed me. So if I take damage and I LOS for a second, it actually just gives me my entire health bar back. That's busted. Yeah, I'm gonna need way slower sensitivity for this game. People in this game don't move. This is this is like a. You're on attack, defend like payload. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. Feels like they're recycling some division tile sets. Division. Can you res teammate? Hard to see that he, that guy's in a shield, but. Okay, wait. Casual flank Arena. Oh shit, I thought I killed that guy. Wait, did it have projectiles? Do I have to aim in front of him? Probably not, right? I assume not. Press Q streamer. Hey, what's my Q button do? Yeah, let's try it. 200. wall hack yo wait this guy's winston bubbling and running down mid <laughs> god this is like this is such an old school game I don't know how else to describe it other than it feels like such an old school game chat. From somebody who's played a lot of FPS in his life, it really does feel that way. Can they head peek that? It feels like it came out in 2012. Yeah, I mean, that's good though, because a lot of modern games, they're just kind of... I'm a boomer. 
Okay, so to me, this is what I want, you know? I would take a little bit slower time to kill by a few bullets, but obviously that's not what this game is. This game's supposed to be appealing to the Call of Duty audience. Not, And if they increase it by a few bullets, then it, if LCTR is here, he'll know what I mean. It, it runs into the dirty bomb problem. Don't let the enemy push the package. Because if I, if, because I would be like, yeah, definitely increase it by a few. Oh, apparently there's someone behind me. Oh no, that's a frag grenade. I feel like games like this are too generic. I feel like you say that because you're a boomer though. What games have, it is generic, but what games have come out like this in like the last five years or so? All right. Other than COD, but it's not quite like modern Call of Duty though. That's why people are interested in it. It looks like, by the way, I get six shots without spread, something like that. Bo games like this are boomer games though. It is. Wow, my sensitivity is so slow, I can't hit anything. Modern Call of Duty sucks. Well, I don't play Modern Call of Duty. I haven't actually played. Guys, the last Call of Duty I played was like Blackout or something a million years ago. I don't even know anymore. So when people come in here and they're like, yo, this is, this is, this is way better in Call of Duty. I, can't, I don't even have a frame of reference to talk to them. That was like, that was like Black Ops 4 in 2018. Yeah, I think it was something like that. It was a really long time ago. So Beans with a 10 gifted right there. Thank you, Beans. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Alana Cesar with the 82 months. Thank you, Alana. And Jonathan Bullshit for the nine months. Didn't you try Modern Warfare 2019? I remember you sniping people to 725. Oh yeah, I did that. Yeah, hey, you're right. But to give you an idea of how much Call of Duty I've played, that I played that game for like three days four years ago <laughs> so i wouldn't say i'm necessarily a, an, an avid gamer did you play in a cod tourney yeah back then we did um that was uh god who was that with i'm trying to remember he was like me was it baru i think it was space boy and uh tp i think I remember a long time that was, anyway that was like four or five years ago Chad I don't it was a content creator thing I got invited but it's not like I was a cod player right I was the I was like the the overwatch guy at it or whatever they're just like yeah we need some people to play cod in here they invite this guy I was like oh boy I'm gonna get there and get fucked by cod players Woo! And then I just walked in got dicked but I had a good time and we actually won I think or got like top two or something won 10k for third place did we get third we didn't win a shit ton of money I remember that Top three out of four teams. That's what it was. Yeah. Top three out of four. Easy. What is doing? It probably does want me to restart. Searching for six more players. The Pablo race thing for 33 months. The funny guys, they were five months. Frivolous insults. Thank you for the gift of sub. Soapy Illusion, thank you for 44 months. Uh, what gun should I try out, chat? I played for like two games. Uh, the cleaners seem cool. These guys are tanky. Not a, I don't really care about them. I haven't seen anybody play the spies and run around too much. Just unlock the AK? Wait, did I? Oh, I did. Challenging weapon to use. Best in class damage with low rate of fire, poor handling. 
At longer ranges, only skilled hands and burst fire can tame the recoil. This is a classic. Sounds like an AK. It does. I can also try out the shotgun. You think the shotgun will one-shot people? It's a pump! It's a pump action. Okay, wait, wait. I have to try this. How do I rename this? Sticky grenade? Proximity mine? <laughs> oh no. Crouching foes take less damage. Interesting. EMP destroy stuff. Play the shotgun so we can spam the copy pasta. All right, I'm on it. I'll try my best. It's only this old COD down to the weapons and equipment. Yeah, but like I was saying, I think that's the point. I think they, they're trying to target the Call of Duty audience that wants to go back to old Call of Duty a little bit. And it's made by a big dev, so... I mean, there's a giant audience who wants that, too. I don't think I'm, like, personally like them that much, but, you know. But this is a shotgun preset. I'll take my custom one, though. And it's led by the guy who led COD 4's development. Oh, then, yeah, it's... it's yeah. Makes sense. It makes sense, then. Put a stop to the enemy's little smuggling operation. If further splinters the FPS community made to have no impact. What? Iterating on genres is the FPS industry. Valorant is an iteration on uh, Counter-Strike. Siege is Ubisoft's take on tactic shooters with a really cool map design, right? Apex is Titanfall, but made to be more casual. Right? Like there's, there's a, there's a lot. So, is it, so you said this is a pump? Stop the enemy from pushing the back. All right. Show them what real resistance looks like. Wait, it's like it doesn't want me to run with it. Oh, this is their spawn. Did they not take damage there? <laughs> so Overwatch is, well, Overwatch is an iteration on TF2, which we all know. How is Apex casual? Oh, Jesus. If you don't know, then you don't know. It's okay. The Titanfall 2 is better than Apex any day of the week. Yeah, and that's why Titanfall 2 is dead and your game is gone. Because Apex is a more casual oriented version of Titanfall made to appeal to a bigger audience in a battle royale. And your game's fucking dead. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is, boys. I come from TF2. Don't talk to me about dead games. Re I recognize, you know, what of my own here. <laughs> Maybe I don't push. The enemy can push their packets if they're dead. Seven damage. Big. Really logic. The TF2 was casual, no? TF2? You talking about Team Fortress 2? Yes. TF2 is pretty casual over others like TFC and stuff. It looks like it auto throws when you hold G by us. You hold down left click. How the fuck am I supposed to play this side? With a shotgun. What a. Uh. <laughs> you get stuck in a slide for so long. Oh god. actual weird takes my takes are weird they're correct yours aren't let's be real listen listen i've played too many video games over the years to take shit from the cod audience in my chat right now all right i'm not doing it Oh God. Wow, the spread on this is actually not bad if you don't sprint. Up. 
tough. Missed the first shot. No reg at the end? I think it was a no reg, but that's because of ping. I think the play with the shotgun is an RP walk. Or it's like you don't jump. You just stop. Random bounce! Does, do they bounce far? Looks like they actually do. Having a pistol, dude. The enemy passed the checkpoint. Set up your sabotage. You got a, a slide strafe jump streamer? I mean, this isn't source. What do you mean, strafe jump? That doesn't even let you jump. If you're trying to do like Apex, where you're like doing multiple slide jumps in a row, I don't know how the engine works. Also, look at, dude, look at the spread on this when I jump. Oh, bro, imagine shotgun. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Hi, where? I just need a gamer to come over here. God, look at this movement. I'm fucking insane. The enemy is creeping up on the checkpoint. <laughs> They really, 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 really do not want you to spam jump in this game, chat. They really, really, they do not want you to jump. So where am I supposed to go? I'm so far behind the enemy team now. They're probably like, what are my teammates doing in this game? Fucking burp. I'm sitting here just jumping in the corner. Wow, look how big my spread gets. I'll just RP over here and just slow walk at him. So I have small cones, no sprinting, no sprinting allowed. <laughs> oh God, but I, can I ADS? Does ADSing change it? The enemy can push their Huge flank. All right. This can be a logic. Dude, I need something like a wall, just a basic wall. You think this one will work? It looks like ADSing is a little bit tighter than just left clicking. Maybe not, maybe not. That's tough. The enemy's almost to the delivery zone. All right, bros, I need like a flash or something. <laughs> oh God, the heel is busted. The heel is insane. The shotgun seemed pretty nuts on the corners. Head glitching is insane in this game. Oh wait, we only had one teammate, so it was 3v6. That explains a lot. And I was sitting in spawn testing out spreads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that explains a lot. That character looks lifeless. Listen, it only looks lifeless because it hasn't had the opportunity yet. The character has not yet had the experience of opening up the shop and equipping a new skin. The characters without cosmetics are designed to be lifeless because they're sad and depressed in their base cosmetics, okay? That's how these games work, chat. Keep up. How's it time to kill fuel? Uh, it feels like a mix between old COD and old Dirty Bomb. That's how the game feels to me. Just a very old school FPS. Old COD being like, I don't even know. When's the last time I played COD? 
I don't know, man, like COD 4 or something? A long time ago. ALGS, Mr. Streamer? All right, so chat, when does ALGS start? I was told it starts at 4.30, which is in two and a half hours, basically. Two hours and 10 minutes. Did they change the time that ALGS starts this weekend? It starts in 40 minutes. Wait, why did they change the timer? Ah. Uh. Well, I do want to watch LGS, but I also want to try out this game. I'll do a little both. We'll go for one hour. So that way we'll walk in middle of map one. We should be good. So did Flats ever respond to me? I said I was in his Discord. Never responded. Why don't more games lock your FPS in the main menu? Uh, Because they want to have those really cool and interesting news articles come out. Like, oh my God. Did you guys see New World is breaking GPUs? Oh my god, don't load the game! It'll fucking murder your PC! It'll catch fire! They want they want those articles about their game. They want those. Not my PC. They need to sh <laughs> No such thing as bad publicity. True. You know, if somebody's GPU dies in your game, what do you know? People know your game exists. Think about it. I forgot New World existed until now. I heard New World actually wasn't that bad. Just saying. Heard it wasn't bad. I've been trying this boost by the boost is OP. Let's try something else. Let's try out the uh, the Firebomb. Which, every time I say it, can I can only really think of uh, probably... Let's try the Marksman, too. Or, or, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I can't change loadout. Edit. Assault. AK. All right, we have the AK. You know, it'd be a Boom. real shame if something happened to the enemy's package. They've been moving towards traditional MMO, which is good. New World? Good for them. That's a door, but it's not a door. Gates open in 20 seconds. Get into position. All right, see what my buttons do? Pushing E. What, am I on fire? Is that what's happening here? It looks like I go on fire. All right, stop jumping. The game doesn't want me to jump. It, it, it lags me when I jump. All right, looks like the AK pulls top right. Oh, that's a gamer. I sit in your Soldier 76 field. Thanks, buddy. Is that a one-way shield? I don't know why I just now put that together. Wait, I can't even go... Wait, that's their spawn. Wait. How's that guy not dead? Okay, he's dead. <laughs> it's so weird. I'm so used to Apex where you have more movement. It's so strange to play a game that like, no, you actually just don't move. You'd actually just fucking die. Like the fucking scum you are. How dare you jump? Piece of shit. Stay on the ground. Like the human you deserve. You can't fly in this game. What do you think you are? It's tough. Random grenade? Dude, that first peak, I was dead before he even shot. Also, they have the Apex thing where you can all tab Go on the death screen, which is annoying. Wait, I'm, I was shooting the backpack. The backpack isn't part of the hitbox. Oh, fuck. Okay, just go for body shots. Headshots are overrated unless you're like, actually got some nice scope on. Yeah, so you jumped, you died, get on. Idiot. How dare you? <laughs> oh, one HP might die to dot. Ooh, close, close. Is there a bug to fix weapons that don't progress? Also, wait, so firebomb only pops off on you, right? It's just like a big AOE thing. This 
So wait a minute. Is it only at the start then? Because I popped it and I ran in because I saw the timer. Also, the, I don't like the AK, by the way. <laughs> I really don't like this gun. What's a mark? I really want to try the marksman rifle too after this. It's like you throw a molly at your feet. That's what it felt like. I saw one big boom on my ground. But at my feet on the ground. But I don't know what was, what was in there after that. Not having a cell fuel sucks. I'm waiting an eternity to repeat. Oh, dude, fuck. I should have ADS first. I accidentally canceled my ADS like it was Apex and I died. Oh, wait, this is the marksman gun, right? Oh. I was testing out the gun, man. I want to see how fast I can shoot it. Come on, dude. Press five when you die. What is five? Huh. Not bad. Really slow ADS time on this gun, right? Feels like it. Grenade. Fuck. So how many times the, the time to kill with that was actually Please really slow. The, the bad guys package delivery scheme. It deals 49, so you can't two tap. But I have fire ammo, so doesn't that effectively two tap? Because I have fire ammo. Oh, see ya. Killed you using sonar goggles. Oh, he's got the fucking Sam Fisher knife pistol. <laughs> like a fucking Sam Fisher pistol. Is that 43 on body shot? How much for a headshot? 49? This gun is busted. You guys said I could make a two tap on body shot with mods? 98 on headshot. So wait, I only have 100 HP. Does everyone have 100 HP? Except for the overheal guys, I guess, right? So wait, does that mean double damage effectively? Shield class is 120. Yeah, but still, it's like you're still two tapping him in the head, basically. Grenade out. Go off. You forgot about your Q? What's my Q do? My streamer's stuck in the loser's queue. Well, hey, come on, man. <laughs> this is Midori, thank you for 15 months. Chat, listen, listen. I'm trying out new guns every death. We're not being a sweaty gamer. We're trying out and learning the game. All right, calm it down, calm it down. This reminds me more and more of a mobile game. I can see what you mean. It's like the, the rogue company type of thing, right? So are you just supposed to just level up one gun and just get it to and just keep going repeat and just have fun making numbers go up or what? Is that the strat? I think I'm gonna make the marksman rifle go up then. It's fun. I really like the two tap and then I don't really care for the assault rifles that much. They're cool, but they don't feel satisfying. 
I think the visuals are kind of bland like mobile, but the mechanics are really old school FPS. I do. That's why I've been saying else here. It feels exactly like super, super old school FPS. It's so weird. I vote random. Evening coffee. Thank you for the one year. Appreciate you. Reminds me of Dirty Bomb. Dirty Bomb had higher time to kill and was a little bit smoother in movement and stuff. This game is definitely a lot more... Con it's like they took Dirty Bomb, made it more contained, and then took it and gave it like... It's just it's just old school caught at that point. Because Dirty Bomb was more like E.T., but yeah. Is it too soon, Pepe Hands? Yeah. Too soon. That's why I was... I want this... Ideally, in this game... LC tier, I would go crazy on this game and go like legitimately ballistic if it had like two bullets more time to kill just so it was in the middle between cod and dirty bomb i'd be like holy fuck let's go all day every day but instead it's like pretty sincerely trying to get the old cod instead so it knows where it's going uh so i don't like firebomb because it just goes boom on me it's all oh, it's a molly on me okay well i'm just gonna do the drone then and we'll try the marksman preset again because it was kind of nice thank you track more yeah 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 Escort. You know, but I think they're they intentionally want it to be like that. They want it the fast time to kill where you can you don't have to aim that much because it's more casual friendly that way. And more importantly, uh Wait, do I run faster with the pistol? Probably do, right? Um and more importantly, it appeals to the current Call of Duty audience. So it's like a really, really good business call not to, I think. Do you think I can climb any silly places when I play? Is that guy a sniper? So. All right, just gonna AFK here until we get regen. So wait, where'd my firebomb go? Also wait, uh, man, firebomb. It looks like it uh has a giant cast time attached. It hit the box? But wait, does a firebomb go above you? It's a drone. It throws in front of you, right? Like, shouldn't it be in the sky? And go, like, top down? Look out the back. Ah, this pole is insane. Oh, 69. Tough. It's head level. Chest level. It's head slightly above head level. You throw it. All right, let me try throwing this again. Like oh, it doesn't go. It doesn't go high enough. Okay, so you can't throw it over boxes. Oh, yeah. All right. What, dude? I swear the grenades are just weird. Is that maybe that thing is solid in front of me and I just ran into it? I'll be right. God, this is such an evil choke point. Is there any way out of here that isn't just this evil door on a small thing? They're coming up on the checkpoint. Ah! Yep. And I get one shot because the guy's holding the angle with a sniper. They made a Don't let the bad guys deliver the dang package. That's the whole job. Terrible seeing the spawners throwing stuff to cover all the time like it spawns too low. Yeah, I've had that so far too. I need to find more of the angles on this map. So far, I just walk out and just die instantly. So that person has a sniper. Yeah, he does. Do they they one shot body shot, huh? Dude, one shot body shots gonna be nuts. Any footsteps? Looks like there's no footsteps in this game either. 
So wait, are there just only three lanes and you just have to pick it when you come out of spawn and they just don't connect? Looks like it barely connects in here. Okay, we hear him coming in now. It's like a, it's a very odd game. That's for sure. There's like two people in this corner. Bro, you guys did zero damage to him? I hit him once and I meleeed him and he did nothing. Wow, I even was in the... Look where I died compared to where I got shot. It looks like the net code in this game is really bad. And they kind of give that issue to themselves, actually. Because of how the game works. There's so many one and two taps in this game. That net code becomes more and more important, right? If you miss a bullet in a high time to kill a game, not nearly as important as missing a bullet here, right? Look, was I just seeing that through a wall? What the fuck? Interesting. Why is that guy orange? Oh, is that over health? They're nearly to the delivery zone. Don't let the bad guys deliver the dang package. That's the whole job. Do you know what engine this is? Yeah, I'm really interested in the engine too, actually. Oh, I just got pre-fired by a drone. The drone does 100 damage. You just die? Man, yeah, this is really not a game for me. This is Division's engine? I... I could see it, but... My poor team. They only had five people again. Poor guys. Any ALGS watch party soon? Yeah, I'll probably go uh, a little bit later. Like 20, 30 minutes in. Might miss map one. I want to try this game a little more. I'm waiting on the finals. I mean, the finals is cool, but the time to kill is a little bit too long in the finals when combined with like the... Man, it's combat. I mean, the game's fucked. It... The finals is probably screwed, let's be real. It's, it's, people have no idea what's happening in that game. It's too complex, even though it is really, really cool. So I assume it's gonna be like a really, really cool game. It's probably dead on release. Hopefully it's not. I really, really like it. I'm just pessimistic on anything in the gaming industry. Uh, new, new scope. Oh shit, wait, wait, let me look. So wait, optics reflex. Wait, I already had this though via the default. So custom loadouts, you have to level up, but presets you don't. That's how it works, huh? It's interesting. Same as Call of Duty, I know. That's why the AK sucks. Yeah, because I wasn't using it. Yeah, because I didn't have anything leveled with it. So I had to like level it up. Yeah, this is very much a game designed to steal away COD players, it looks like. You can try all the guns in the firing range? Yeah. Unfortunately, doesn't COD always die on PC? Um, the core issue with games like this is usually there's heavy pressure from the casual audience because it is a Call of Duty audience. So I would assume that, you know, in the long run of this game, they'd probably heavily buff aim assist because they need the casual audience to pop off. Um, and then anything to appeal to that casual audience as much as possible.
Does controller not have aim assist right now? Uh, it does, but controller players were already complaining on Reddit saying that there wasn't enough aim assist and it was really underpowered. So it'll probably get buffed. And then the good players of the controllers will just become gods as usual. Realistically, though, if this was like a COD style game and it just had like a little bit toned down aim assist, no skill based matchmaking and did some other stuff like they're going to appeal to a very specific gr like group that will probably really, really enjoy this game. And I think it'll be successful. Creating match. Hey, I'll try the marksman rifle again, chat. I think if you want a pub stomp, you probably just equip like just a generic fucking assault rifle running down mid with a medic and just self heal and hold W, right? The game also launches on the first COD gap year in like two decades. <laughs> True. <laughs> True. I try a flamethrower? Bro, I keep forgetting I, there's a Q. I like an ult. I gotta figure out what it is. Lol, Collegiate Overwatch have as many viewers as Overwatch League? Hey, where is it? I'll go look real quick. Oh, it's on Twitch and it has drops. So they're all just bots. Okay, yeah, that doesn't count. Alright, we'll try the we'll try the marksman preset again. Got it? Is a skill based matchmaking usually a good thing for casual players? It is. Uh, but the, the developer came out and talked about it and had a very specific like take on it, which was really interesting. We can actually look at that after this game if you guys want. I can try and find it again. I think he posted it on Twitter. Um, I have to find it. I was looking, I didn't find it yet. Wait, am I invulnerable in here? I just realized this. God, pushing downstairs sucks. Wait, can I play top? I don't even know. Uh-oh. I don't know all the sight lines on this map. Right, so that guy had a shield you're shooting me with, right? Hi team, requesting some heals. Just gonna AFK here again. Hope for the best. If he swings me, hope that the napalm one-shots him. Regen seems pretty chill. You can tell how this game actually plays out though is a little bit odd, right? It's not like a... Like a proper old school FPS or anything in terms of time to kill. It's very designed for that COD audience. Oh, apparently there's a sideline on my left. Good thing you missed every shot. Fuck, got double swung. Goodbye. I think I hit both of them once. Keep that package moving. Delivery zone a bust. I gotta figure out the movement in this game. It's very weird. I'm 
Hmm. The package is. Advance the package. Should be a dude on far right, I think. Someone's just doing a little bit of trolling. Fuck, dude. He's got a nice SMG. So it looks like SMGs are the only gun that you can actually like sprint and jump peek with. Huh, you like jump peek in and start spraying? Do you do a slide jump? And otherwise, it looks like assault rifles kind of can, but it's really hard. Why is, it, why is it like a, it has a delay? You guys notice that? Little boom, 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 but then boom, boom, boom. Stop flashing me, teammates. Why me? Double peaked. I heard the P90's insane? Probably. There's probably a lot of guns in this game that are better than the starting ones. Yeah, this is definitely like a... I would log on and chill play this game in a pub server and not care about anything else and just dick around. This is 100% would... Nothing like it feels... You know, the, the idea for me. He's in his bubble. <laughs> He's a bubble boy. Got that name palm you request. Fight on my finish. Fuck, he's one. Oh, I think I killed him with the dot, maybe. Not sure. He's so, where's my team this whole game? The strategy right. seemed pretty linear. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of tell, like, it's it, Five, it's a linear map. Four, There's not much, two, like, flanks and stuff, maybe? I'm not sure. Zero. Oh, yeah, we're fucked. Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Whatever. You lost. All the maps are just three lane maps. Yeah, it looks like everything is strict three lanes and that's it. Which is pretty old school uh, map design and everything too, so. Maps feel super repurposed from other modes. Shame, because Escort really needs its own design. I haven't tried other modes. Let's go try other ones. Boom, 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 boom. New attachments, Pog. Can I actually use a flashbang now? How do I get out of this? It's just it's just loading cosmetics over and over. How, how do I get out? How do I get out? Somebody help. Somebody help. Oh god. Okay. I'll inspect. Wait. Wait. Did the buttons in the bottom left just change? After I moused over it? I was hitting escape and it kept replaying it over and over again. Oh no, I hit back and now it just does it again. Oh no, how do I get out of here? If back isn't the escape... Is it... Am I free? <gasps> I'm free! Oh, thank goodness. Leave lobby and get another mode. 
Yeah, we got another two games, champ, probably before I go and watch some LGS. Uh, zone control or dominate? We'll try domination mode. What's the developer's take on skill-based matchmaking? It's hard to find while I'm also doing all this stuff. Let me try and find it really fast. If I can. Um... We gotta find it. Does anyone know it? It's like it was on Twitter at one point. It was from the executive producer on X Defiant, aka this game. The devs talked about it. Man, I wish I saved this link. I found it. Mark Rubin, executive producer at Ubisoft. Previous known for the executive producer in COD. Um, I take on skill-based matchmaking. Working on a new FPS coming out next year called X Defiant. Go see it if you want to play test ball ball. October 22. All right. They talk about it here. Uh, this is just my POV and maybe one shared by a portion of the community. I am not a fan of skill-based matchmaking. This is why. When you play a game using strict skill-based matchmaking, you are playing with and against a group of players that are for the most part just like you. They have a similar skill level and play in a similar way. And on paper, that sounds kind of fair. And you'd be right if strict competition is your goal. And I'm fine with that kind of experience in ranked. But would you watch football if there's no standings of playoffs or Super Bowl? Ranked exists for a reason. To give players who want to push themselves competitively a place to do so and be rewarded. But when it comes to casual play, I don't think this is the right experience. So strict SBMM or engagement-based matchmaking, which sounds like PR marketing, but that is just the same thing. You're going to get an experience where every match feels the same. You play against the same type of player and the same skill level of players over and over and over again. And if you start to improve, you'll get a few games in where you feel dominant, but don't worry, the algorithm will bring you back to the same stale experience shortly. I'm in favor of removing skill-based matchmaking from casual play because I want players to have a varied experience. And it's not about pub stomping, it's about variety. The graph of player skill is a bell curve, and so in matchmaking, with no skill-based matchmaking, depending on where you are on that curve, most players in the middle, because bell curve, you'll mathematically, on average, have players in the lobby that are better and worse than you. Now, people right smack in the middle have a 50% better and 50% worse, and if you're somewhere on the curve, you get the obvious. You can do this math percentage, the average that matches your position. But the key here is average. It doesn't mean every match will be about the same. In some matches, you feel like you're getting stops, and some matches, you feel like you're doing the stomping. And you'll be able to feel your improvement as the math of averages adjust to your new skill level. To me, the key to a great gaming experience is this variety. I want to play against players better than me and feel proud of being one of the better players in a match. And I feel that skill-based matchmaking takes away the variety and makes me play the same match over and over again. It's an interesting take. Because it's not, he says it's not about pub stomping, but a lot of you read it as, oh, it's just about pub stomping isn't a sequel, but he's not wrong. He's talking about how, you know, the variety and just, if every game was always, I mean, is it, let me think about it. Is it really? Because even in, even in perfect skill-based matchmaking, it's not like the algorithm's perfect. You know what I mean? Oh, I had to miss the second, third shot. I'm bad. Also, there was another post after that chat that I can't find right now because um, I'm playing. But there was another post where I think the developers talked a little bit about uh, having a protected class of players, which is basically if you're really, really bad, you have your own protected class, like horrible players who just get stomped by everyone. They go into their own matches, which sounds like a roundabout way of having skill based matchmaking, I think. Um, it might have been for new players. The, so bucket one. I might have been for like new, brand new players, or like really bad players. So for them, it's if you're really, really, really bad, you're you're like safe. But then everyone else, like you get thrown into everything else. So in other words, remember how Apex Legends used to have the the bucket system with skill based matchmaking? You either there's four buckets. One was for new players. So just take it out. So there's only three. You're either bad, average, or good. 
That's it. That's what Apex did. In this game mode, in this game, what it kind of feels like is a, uh, they want to have two buckets. One for new players slash horrendous gamers, and then everyone else. Scumbags on zone C. Burn them out. I miss the old days of 20 years ago. We just stay in a joint dedicated server and run map cycles and have a, a team balance script going so one team doesn't steamroll the other one. Yeah, and just auto balance. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. See, stuff like that, I feel like I'm just missing by like a quarter inch or something. It's so weird. Auto balance, aka take the top three players, make them swap. Yeah. Oh yeah, he could shoot through that, huh? My bad. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, it actually hit him. He might die from it. Damage assist. Looks like someone else killed him. Whoever swapped to the losing team make things fair. Um, I mean the the game did. I mean, it mean, was auto balance. It never really mattered. It's kind of, I mean, yeah. the, the different days, different times, genre. You know everything. It's just completely different to even talk about. Oh, there's a point up here. What the fuck? Op. Oh, that guy just. 100 to 0 me around that corner that entire time. I never stopped shooting. That's crazy. Thoughts on the time to kill? Um, We talked about it a little bit, but it's very clearly a game designed for Call of Duty players uh, to one-shot people and stuff like that. Uh, pretty low time to kill, right? You just kind of two-shot people. Um, the movement is really small. They don't want you to move that much. It puts really heavy pressure on the net code to be good when you have a game with this fast of a time to kill. But the problem is the net code is also not very good, so it just kind of leads to this mediocre experience, I think. What's my Q button do, by the way? I should probably push that on. Enemies on C. We got all the freaking guns. Like right there, I think I had another no reg on that guy, the first shot. It gives you a flamethrower? What, the Q? I just one shot everybody with. Each faction different also cleaners get the flamethrower. Yeah, the flamethrower looks like it one-shots everybody. Yeah, see stuff like that, right? Where like I took one shot and immediately start moving. You can't do that in this game. The nutcode will always kill you. You have to like full commit to anything you do. But it's the combination of the time to kill with that that makes it so intense, right? Because if it if it only takes you two bullets to die, then one bullet hitting you around the corner is life or death. Whereas in a game like, you know, Apex, it's not as big of a deal. It can't be a huge deal, but not nearly as bad. That also makes the mobility and movement less fun. Yeah, I can see that. I can definitely see that. Actually, you can move around crazy fast so no one can hit you. 
Uh, bro, you're not the fucking Flash. This game, you move like... You don't move in this game. Lexi Kuhn, thank you for 37 months. Mr. Lorax, thank you for the Prime. Keith Koss, thank you for 27 months. And Kevin's Famous Chili, thank you for the 20 months. Houdini. Alder, thank you for the Prime. How do you know I'm not the Flash? True, you could be Barry Allen. And people are so obsessed with movement. Well, to be fair, you know... I'm from games with cool movement. Like Apex Legends, Overwatch, TF2. This game does not seem to have that type of movement. It seems pretty small, pretty contained. Looks like that, because they don't, if they give it too much movement, then the Call of Duty players will freak out. So they gotta, they gotta keep it slow. This will just be a game where like, you know, people like movement, but not actually, people like the idea, but not actually play it. Yeah, I think so. I think it's gonna be a mix of movement between things like, uh, I don't know, it just depends on the audience they're trying to hit, it's just weird. Boom, boom. Do you prefer this game or the finals? Uh, I mean... The finals is very different. Completely different top to bottom, right? You can't really compare them. Uh, let's try self-healing. Is this game actually good after playing for hours? Dude, I haven't even played this game for an hour yet. Another cantina, another capture zone. Tres, dos, uno. Take the zones. Topple the enemy. Viva la revolución. Amigos capturing zone C. The enemy is taking zone A. The enemy capturing zone A. I don't know this. I'm dog shit. Almost two hours because I almost got the third drop. Wait, what are the drops? I don't even know. Yo, I should be able to open cars. Or sorry, doors. Okay, maybe this map, dude. Look how close range this is. Maybe not the play with a fucking marksman rifle on this map. Tough. Sorry, what can I shoot on him? Or, just, or can you not? I don't actually know which one I can shoot. Fuck. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was bad. This guy says his experience in this game is a 9 out of 10. Bro, what do COD players think is a good video game if this is a 9 out of 10? No offense. It's good, but like... That's tough. That sucks, obviously, is the progression and the end being able to... Like, Activating a prox mine! ...attachments and get new guns. Exactly. Yo, I found a vent. Like... I'm venting? Nice little high ground up here.
It's another cookie cutter shooter, nothing special. You guys say that, but like, I think you say that because you don't know the audience. It's very designed for the Call of Duty audience, which I am not, right? Can watch it, I'll just say, yeah, I'll watch it after like one more game. We'll hop in middle of map one. They're probably going through intros right now. Unless they're like speed running it. Sometimes they speed run. Hey, buddy. God, this little thing is OP as fuck. This little pill thing. Also, wait, is TSM playing today, champ? Yes? Oh, shit, it's time, dude. Passion. Stuff like that. You guys notice? He was shooting me before he even pulled out his weapon on my screen. That's what I talk about with netcode. Stuff like that is interesting. Now I have 30 tick servers until launch. What's launch tick, sir? Tick rate gonna be? The enemy is taking zone A. Oh, that's a grenade on me. Whoops. There's also other optimizations can be done without increasing tick rate. Yeah, I know. It's a complicated topic to talk about netcode, but it's the easiest thing to talk about. Devs just don't like talking about it because directly addressing tick rate costs them massive amounts of money. So they're just like, oh, what if we optimize these other paths instead? You know? <laughs> the whole enemy team, the whole enemy team is left, dude. They're all gone. We've been rolling them too hard this game. It's tough. Zone A is under attack. Have they considered sub ticks? We must go underneath the ticks. There can be no actual ticks anymore. They are involved. They can't do the sub ticks. Yeah, I know. I know. What are these guys spawn? So like if... Oh, wait. They... Looks like they flipped the map. I thought they didn't have a single point. I was like, what's going on here? Oh, this is actually outside the map. <laughs> it's tough. Why, why does this nook exist? Just to camp? <laughs> oh no. Is subtick thing just a meme? No, 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 it's just Valve reworked their net code. It is just probably obscene amounts of money cost. This, that. Okay, okay. One more game than ALGS chat. One more game we can watch ALGS. I wanna I wanna try out uh we this was a three point domination mode, but it was just kind of boring because they were all left the game. So One more, one more, one more. You haven't played the real game yet since you haven't figured out the movement? Is this where we pretend like this is going to become a movement shooter when everyone knows it's going to become an angle holding power position shooter where people just hold areas? Is this where we pretend? Come on now. Everyone knows in a game like this, movement gives you cute clips, occasional outplay, but 90% of the game comes down to what I just said about power positions, holding angles, and stuff like that. The 
Call of Duty has crazy movement in pro play. All right, you're trolling. Stop trolling. Who writes these comments? I turned off follower only mode. We're in a COD game directory in it, boys. This is legitimately? The COD players come out of their hole and they're just like, we have the most insane movement. We sit over here and we see like the, the Apex players come out with tech every two seconds. It just fundamentally breaks the game. You got this stuff. You got like the, the quake boomers in the corner be like, back in my day, but they can barely even move these days because they're so old. And then every every like 10 minutes, there's a guy who comes in. Streamer, this game actually has insane movement. You haven't figured it out. It's possible. I might just be super egotistical, but I'm telling you, the time to kill and everything else, I would be very surprised. The slide canceling is the peak of movement tech. <laughs> True. Don't just quake like that. What do you mean? Come on, man. You're not watching LGS today. One game, one game. I was trying out this other thing then. Rafa will remember that. I remember one time I was ranting about Quake and then I think Rafa hosted me after that. <laughs> like literally, just like complete RNG, he fucking hosted me. I was like, oh no. Is ST Llama, thank you for the Prime. Liquid V, thank you for the Prime. Lordish Turtle, thank you for the five months. I'm a zoomer. What's good movement tech in Overwatch? Oh, Overwatch has the most insane movement of any game in terms of move speed because it doesn't have movement acceleration. This game has insane movement excel. So on a base level, already you're behind, but Overwatch doesn't have that much tech. They actively remove tech, but the base speed is generally what they keep going omega fast. Wait, so what does this thing do? Oh, it's all it's a biotic field. Okay, I get it. Now, if you want to know, like, uh, when it comes to the base stuff, though, would be probably Lucio, number one. I think comes close. So, wait, what mode am I playing right now? I'm still three-point domination. Forgot to change it. Fuck. Ah, eh, whatever. Last one, last one. Moth, yeah, Moth actually has decent movement too, not wrong. Oh no, I have a teammate. Wait, oh wait, where'd my... It says X? You can't put one down? Wait, is it not a cooldown, but something else? Oh, I have to hold... Wait, it's 100% uptime? Like it doesn't disappear? I have to hold down the button and delete it? That's crazy. Fuck, I got to three tap that guy because he had armor. It's down until it's destroyed. So I guess put it on like a peak and like hold an angle and AFK. It's kind of nice. The enemy is taking zone Revenge, kid. Grenades away. Damage assist. Yeah, I can just, I can just, wow. Head peek him over and over and back up with my perma heal station. Is this not just like the most? Is this have uh, a max duration or anything? Or do I just troll people and do this for a while? Uh, would this not be the most overpowered thing ever if I was a sniper? Because snipers one shots, so you just only head peek, go for one shots, AFK, head peek, one shot, and repeat. Yeah, it's kind of nuts. Of course, the moment I leave, a guy shows up. Wait, does that heal me through walls? Wait. It does. So I can be here and it heals me. It heals me on the bottom. If I hug the wall too.
That's psycho. And it just lasts forever? That's it? So I gotta sit here and just AFK here forever if I had a sniper? It's funny. Pretty good for holding like a little spot, I guess, if you really wanted to hold a, a spot and angle on the map. A five second cooldown too. If you let it sit for a while, it looks like. I, mean, I have to reload. This gun has like a trillion bullets, right? My bad. Shit, perfect grenade. It's gonna all in. Oh shit, they're pushing me off the shield! <laughs> oh god, dude, it tanks grenades too? So wait, this thing tanks grenades? It tanks anything? Brawl. How is that balanced? What is this? And he teabags you? Oh, I mean, dude, I would teabag me. Are you kidding? I would hate me. The enemy is attacking zone B. You can EMP it. Oh, there's the sniper. I've been waiting for the sniper guy to show up again. Wait, someone's healing on it. Are you buddy is this guy just gonna afk corner peak and hold an angle with a fucking one tap sniper right now be so sad oh or he'll just walk up behind me no footsteps classic is in his fucking monkey bubble what do we do Oh, there's a multiple people there. Oh God. Any Q gamers? What's my Q do? I don't remember anymore. people on me oh my god it's a worse version of the e but you have an overheal so it's just an overheal okay okay overhealing is pretty nice play some nice set nades on this map i bet yeah i just killed that guy with that nade wait he killed me as i killed him you sat my nade just to peek me bro I mean, yeah, dude, that peak was event. Holy shit, dude. They start shooting before they stop. It's like it rolls back the animation for shooting. I don't know the angles on this side of the map yet. Is everyone spawn camping now? Also, it looks like you only get so many stations per game. If you guys notice, I can no longer place my E. It's like the game got tired of me trolling the enemy team.
You can place it again? Oh shit, it's back. It just didn't it didn't show any animation, huh? Wait, is it just uh is it tied to my ultimate? When you guys had to pop my ult, I can't put my E down or something? It's like a pocket mercy, dude. I just, I just face tank them. It's crazy. The 750, 720 feels good. What do you think of the game? All right, two hours playing this game. Final thoughts before we go watch LGS. The game is effectively Call of Duty. It is Ubisoft's Call of Duty? Uh, it's obviously got some big netcode problems. You two shot everyone in this game. Movement is pretty slow, kind of mediocre. It is meant to be kind of a throwback to old school Call of Duty games for the diehard Call of Duty fan that got tired of newer Call of Duties. That's what it, it literally designed. That's what it seems like it's designed to do. Top to bottom. Uh, if you enjoy high time to kill games with a lot of movement, you will not like this game. It is not meant for you. It is meant for Call of Duty fans. It does have some interesting takes though. It does have some, wait, flats rate? Oh shit. Oh shit, we're about to go watch LGS. Thank you, Flats. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, I was going to say, last bit about this, though, was so you don't like it. It's... Okay, okay. It's a game that's not meant for me. It's a game that is meant for Call of Duty fans. I would probably actually enjoy the, to play this game casually, just because it's kind of fun to walk around and shoot stuff. And I enjoy it. It's fun to pub stomp. And for some reason, the developer also removed skill-based matchmaking. So because of that, you can kind of just pub stomp. Like that game, I, I'm terrible at this game. I just started playing it. And I, I just went like 27-11 or something. So yeah, uh, it's going to be an interesting time. But anyway, if you, uh, if you enjoy old school COD, if you enjoy old school shooters, and you're okay with not having a high or medium time to kill, and you're okay with not having much movement, and sort of a throwback to old school CODs, this game is for you. That is what it is for you. But if you want faster, you know, faster movement, uh, more skill-based movement, stuff like that, nah, it's not it. That's what I think.